Nobody likes seeing flashing red and blue lights in their rearview mirror, but how would you feel getting pulled over by a militarized tank? No, we're not talking about China or North Korea, but the United States of America. To explain more of his story, former Navy veteran Lucas Jewell joins me via phone live from Gainesville, Florida. Welcome again to Teen Take, Lucas. Hey, thanks for having me, Andrew. Uh, always been a big fan, so, uh, you know, had to share this video with you first. So, take the stage, Lucas, give us some context, and then briefly explain your story, please. Yeah, so, um, I'm driving to an art festival, um, here in Gainesville, and there's been a lot of talk going on nationwide about the police militarization issue, um, and, you know, John Oliver's made a couple of videos about it, and... I see a, a tank driving down one of the main roads of our small college town of Gainesville, Florida. So I decide to express my negative feelings about this tank driving down you know, our civilized streets um, with my middle finger. And uh, so the tank follows me for a couple of miles and then I pull off and they follow me and turn on the flashing red blue lights that are on top of this thing and uh, pull me over right in front of the downtown public library here in Gainesville. Now Lucas, the cops that stopped you said they pulled you over because A, you flipped them the bird, which is freedom of expression covered under the First Amendment, but also secondly because in no uncertain terms they alleged your girlfriend was giving you a blowjob while driving. So while these are the reasons the police gave, in your opinion, what was the real reason as to why they stopped you? I think that they were, first of all, we were having, we were having a spring football game here in Gainesville, uh, and I think first, first they just brought that thing out. They brought out the tank, and they brought out all these guys dressed like soldiers just to try to flex on everyone, um, just to kind of like show them, show everyone like, oh, we're the big dogs, you know, we got the military equipment and the military uniforms. And then when they're trying to flex on everyone, you know, in one of the most busy streets, University Avenue, I flipped them the bird. They can't. They they probably their egos are probably so built up on all of this that they can't handle someone's uh, sign of disapproval. The series of events you describe, Lucas, is absolutely unprecedented, and frankly, I wouldn't believe you if you didn't have the video to back up your statements, but at one point during this confrontation, a cop actually told you, quote, you're not going to point your phone at me because there are firearms made of devices like that. I mean, this is absolutely absurd, so what was your reaction to that? Well, first of all, that is the most ridiculous thing ever. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to forward uh, the edited version of this video to uh, Alachua County Sheriff Sadie Darnell um, so that maybe they can inform their officers uh, and adjust policy because that's unconstitutional. Nowadays, uh, you know, the First Amendment is taken into your hands through a cell phone most of the time, people filming police. It was recently a case uh, in, I think it was South Carolina, where a gentleman was running away from a police officer. Guy got shot in the back, and the only reason we knew about it is because someone was there with a cell phone filming. So to take away the right to film the police with a cell phone because you think it could be a weapon is ridiculous. Well, Lucas, absolutely, it does make sense. These police officers, now at least some of them, view these cell phone video cameras as weapons, as threats to their credibility, because no longer can they skew the narrative. Instead, there's this video proof to keep things objective and hold these officers accountable for their actions. Now, in closing, before I let you go, I just want to say that recently, although I'm not 18 yet, I did have to pay taxes, and... It just really warms my heart knowing that instead of using this money to stop wars, for example, it's going to pull over and harass innocent people like you, Lucas. So again, thank you very much for coming on and sharing your story this afternoon. Hey, man. You know, I really uh, I really like what you're doing at Team Take. Uh, you know, 
you know, I think you got a bright future ahead of you. And uh, just keep on keeping on, man.